What's up guys on my YouTube channel? I'm going to teach my girlfriend today how to use the shift pedals. And the thing is, she already tried it before, but today we're gonna do a little bit more tricky, so there's no cheating. I'm gonna put the car into manual mode so she has to shift. If she doesn't shift, the car will stay in gear, so she will actually find out how what it means if she doesn't shift. I'm gonna go over it with her and then uh, she's gonna try it her own. It's not that hard, but if you've never done it before, you have to watch the gears. I want her to start slow and then go up, you know, and see how, how fast it reacts and how it works. So we're gonna try to do that. And yeah, let's see, it should be interesting. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is, I'm trying to teach her this now. I'm gonna put the car into manual mode. So you will see your gear right here. It says mm -hmm. first gear, you see it? And then it says an M for manual mode. So once you are into drive, the car, you have to shift gears, that's the thing. Like now, if I drive, you can see it shows you two. It doesn't mean anything yet. It just means you should shift, you know, you have to shift. You can see it, the RPMs are getting really high. And now up here, you can see a little thing on the screen. Yeah. Once you see that thing, you should shift if it gets red it's almost too late so what i'm talking about is right here on the screen you see a two right here that doesn't mean anything yet but if you go a little faster and faster you will see these little bars come up on top of it right here you see the bars and then you have shift. you have to shift like if you keep on letting it do that it won't shift so you think you're gonna make it and then of course left side is downshift, right side is you shift up and uh, yeah, I'm gonna you, start slow and then I will, you can go a little faster but I'm gonna show you first what to do. So I'm gonna switch seats now with her and uh, we're gonna go over it again. She should be fine, she's just gonna be careful when to shift and when to downshift. I think she doesn't know when to downshift so I'm gonna explain her that but it's not as... Um, hard than driving a legit manual car it's still pretty easy so okay then we got the new mercedes-benz seat cover got the seat cover going on here well seat, seat belt seat, covers seat belt, seat belt, belt covers yeah i'll we'll put it. mine on real quick yeah look at this we got the new seat covers seat belt covers looks pretty cool though it has a more aggressive feeling to go, it um, so what you're gonna you're gonna go this way and uh, hold on not yet hold on I'm gonna go over it. Okay. So I have it in manual, okay? So what you're gonna do is when you, the car goes up to four, you see the four thousand up there on the screen. Mm -hmm. When the car goes up to four five thousand, okay, yeah, okay. you're gonna shift at like five thousand, okay? okay? So go slow now for the first time. Okay. Yeah, let's just go slow. There's no car coming. Okay. Okay, now give it a little gas, a little bit. Okay, now shift. Okay, perfect. Now go a little faster. Shift. Perfect. Okay, shift now. Okay, now go slow. Now you see this. It, the gear is getting lower right now. Yeah. Now you downshift. Okay, perfect. So you downshift it. Downshift again. Perfect. See? So this is how you downshift. So go on a standstill real quick. Go into first gear, shift down again. Okay, good. So this is the tricky part. If you push it now all the way, the car will stay into gear if you don't shift. So let's see. Do pedal to the metal and then try to shift. But also watch the road, of course. So <laughs> let's see if you can do it. Okay. Okay, now go. You gotta shift the... Oh, perfect. Hey, that wasn't bad. Shift one more time. Okay, good. Hey, that was perfect for the first time. You shifted on the right moment. If you take longer to shift, the car will stay in its gear. So that was perfect. Now, uh, I don't know if you can turn around here. Okay, just pulling the grass. Okay, over here, let's try it again. This time, uh, put your foot on the brake to do a little launch. Put it on the brake and put the, push the gas pedal at the same time. Hold on. Are you on the brake? On the gas? Okay, yeah. okay, now push the brake a little, like this, and now give it gas. A little bit more gas. Okay, now let off go of the brake. Oh, perfect! Yeah, there you go. Okay, good, good, good. 66, there you go. Okay, yeah, downshift. So you get it, right? Yeah. It's not that hard. Yeah. Okay, now 
uh, go into second gear. Okay, go a little slower. Okay. A little slower. Now it's holding. Now push it. Pedal to the metal. Shift. There you go. <laughs> okay, that's good. 70. Damn. Mexico freeway here. There's a car coming in Mexico with the boat on it. Awesome. Okay, so turn around up here again. Yes, she's doing a great job. It's it's not that hard once you do it a couple of times. You just gotta shift at the right moment. Uh, now I'm gonna see. It. I'm gonna see if she can somehow. Um, not six thousand. Oh well, dang. Police in Mexico. Well, maybe we shouldn't do it here then. Damn. Well, let it go. Let the. What the hell is it doing here? What? I've never seen the police in Mexico yet. The first time. We'll wait a little until the police is gone. But now what I want you to do is right here. You see the uh, 6,000? Yeah. Six. When did you shift now? Around 4 and 5? Yeah. Now next time you're going to try to shift at 6,000. This is how you would regular shift. Like if you do like an eighth mile or quarter mile. You want to get the most out of the gears for the best timing. Sure, but it's yeah you're gonna go faster like if you do pedal to the metal like if you push it all the way do kick down try to shift at six thousand this gives you more out of the so gears still shift at like four and five. no 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 shift at six thousand so whenever it goes all the way to six thousand shift, shift right at six but if you take too long at six thousand it's gonna you're gonna feel what happens if you don't like it's just gonna sit in the gear well creep up there don't go fast yet but don't shift whenever you're holding the gear um yeah, no. When you rev it, don't downshift yet. You have to go, you know, keep on driving. And then once you drive, you're just gonna push it. Um, okay, and then whenever it gets to 6,000. Yeah, whenever you already drive in first gear and then shift right at 6,000. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay, just try it now. Ready? Yeah. You push the brake and the gas. Okay, now go. Oh, I see you felt it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, shit. Dang. <laughs> but you see it? Yeah. Like, you see it's holding you yeah. in the gear. <laughs> yeah, it was like, go up. Was Do you like, see it on the screen? Yeah. Okay. But you can try it again. It's it, that that is what takes a while. Yeah. So just go and turn around here again and do it one more so time. Like, right when it goes past five, I need to yeah. shift. Yeah. Right when it goes five and a half, six, right then you shift. Okay. But you see it on the screen whenever it gets red, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, so whenever it gets red, you just shift. Yeah, I think she got it now. It just takes a little while to actually get used to uh, when to shift the right time. So she did it at 6,000 and you got a perfectly on point shift or it doesn't want to shift. So she can try it now, five and a half thousand and see if it will shift. Uh, but she's getting it. I mean, uh, she's learning fast. That's awesome. So do it again. You push the brake and the gas pedal and then try to shift at like five and a half. Yeah, that was good. Next one, perfect. The second one was great. Third one was good. Perfect. See? You're learning fast. Do it one more time on the way back and then we switch. But that was pretty dang good. I mean, hey, for the first time. Yeah, so perfect. I mean, I can't say anything. It's She's doing a great job, honestly. The... The first time you just gotta get used to what times you're shifting. If you shift uh, not at the right moment, the car will just sit in its gear. And it's kind of the same on the manual, you know, you gotta shift. So it's a good practice. So what you're gonna do now is go into first gear again, because you always see the numbers. So first gear and push the brake and the gas again and try to shift perfectly on five and a half thousand. I know it's actually this time don't do the brake and the gas, just go regular because it might be easier. Now just push it. Perfect. Yeah. Dang, 80. Thank God we are Mexico. Dang, thank God. Awesome, man. You did a great job, Berg. Thank you, Berg. Awesome. Well, the best. Yeah, thank you. She definitely did a great job. I mean, for the first time, the only two times she messed up was when she didn't shift on the right time. But even I did that. That's normal. So yeah, she did a great job on it. Awesome. We will do it a couple of more times someday, but for the first time, I can't say anything. She did it perfect. I mean, awesome, really. 
Oh, what is this kind of seat position here? <laughs> what the heck is this? But yeah, usually, you know, you could shift at 6,000, but you have to be perfectly on point. 5,500 is also perfect and for the beginning. It's hard to do it at the beginning with pushing your brake and at the gas pedal at the, at the same time because the car will already be at like two and a half, three thousand 3,000 RPM, so you, you have to shift even faster. So even though she did a launch, I mean, perfect. Yeah.